G'day everyone, back with another Nosby 3 Max today. This is map 18, downhill. Alrighty, grab the Berserk and we start going down the titular hill. There's a lot of cybers behind us. Um, so I just want to try and get through these imps as quickly as possible. Um, just kind of going back and forth a little bit just to weaken their numbers, mainly focusing on the right hand side because that's the way that I'm going to be pushing. Once I think there's a, a decent amount of uh, room clear, I'll start uh, rocking through the rest of the imps that, are, that remain. You can't really afford to go too slowly here. You can eat cyber rockets from behind, as you can see. Uh, so you want to want to try and push through as quickly as you can. Uh, your health doesn't. It's not critical to, to maintain a really high level of health here. The the two wings that we're going to here are both pretty easy, um, but you still need to have enough that that you can survive. So you do need to try and get get away from those cyber before you eat too many rockets. So clear these guys out. Um, I like to clear out a, a few of the imps as well before I move on. And I'll, I think I also push um, some rockets towards the Hell Knights that are on the other side as well. We won't uh, we won't get the BFG until we're into the next fight. So no no use trying to rush through and and uh, be more efficient with a better gun or anything. I also like to try and make sure that any straggling imps that are pushing through here get killed. I don't want to want to have to worry about them after I uh, teleport back. Clearing these are uh, well, some of the Hell Knights out with rockets here makes makes the uh, next part of the fight once we take the teleporter back from this area a little bit easier. Almost feels a little bit too kind of no reason to <laughs> to give you uh, easy fights in these two wings. I, I would half expect something a lot more uh, difficult, but uh, I'm not going to complain. Alrighty, so we take the teleporter and we go back down the hill. Um, we pass a line def as we're going down the hill that requires the, the blue key. Um, and that will spawn four arch files um, down towards the end. I like to let uh, bait them out a little bit um, and let them start resing some stuff. Hopefully get them uh, distracted. Unfortunately, I had two zaps there. I got extremely lucky that the uh, the zaps knocked me into a pillar. If you fall into the nukeage, it's instant death. So, um, and this is this is my preferred strat for dealing with the with the arch files. Is just pushing through to the next area. Normally, they don't. All rush in on you like this. Usually you might have like one or two um, push through, uh, but for some reason they were all pretty aggressive here and uh, decided to push in on me, which uh, was a little bit awkward considering I hadn't finished clearing up all these Hell Knights. A little bit of back and forth to finish these up. get those same and another set of four arch files when we take the next teleporter back as well um, but I handle the other set of, of arch files from the uh, opposite side of the room which I'll explain in a moment again this wing is pretty straightforward just a few really just a few revs and, uh, and an arch file I guess of the two, this is slightly harder, I suppose, but it's uh, it's not really anything to stress too much about. Alrighty, so with the yellow key, we will hit another line def, spawning another four arch files. Um, part of the reason why I like to uh, go over to the left side for the first group of arch files is to make sure there's no arch file corpses in the middle. I don't want the second set of arch files being able to start resing the first set. Um, and then on the second round, I come across to this side just because it's a little bit easier to um, to clear the arch files up there. You don't have to run past them. Um, and yeah, I did get very lucky with how quickly I managed to, to clear out all those vials. I didn't quite expect to um, to be that quick. Usually it takes a little bit longer. They'll, they'll res each other, but I think I got lucky and, and none of them uh, managed to, to get a res off that time. All right, so now that we've got the two keys, we can uh, push forward into what is really the only hard part of the map. 
Um, so all the cybers that were on the um, on the hill that we went down before, they will all teleport into this fight. Um, the majority of them teleport into the middle. Um, I think I'm trying to remember. I think it's I think it's 120 cybers in total, or, or around about that. Um, the majority of them teleport into the middle with around 20 or so teleporting uh, to the back of the room there, with um, where you can see them coming out. Um, and then yeah, you have just a whole ton of, of barons coming out of the um, left right doors and the one in front of you with heaps of astrals coming in from behind so um, I pretty much play this fight pacifist at least at the very start um, as you can see the only cells that you've got available in the room are right up against the um, the middle section there with all the cybers in it and trying to push forward to get cybers uh, to get cells uh, and, and refill on cells is just almost suicide most of the time you've got you got four megas in here um but you do need to be a little bit uh you need to ration them a little bit you you know you don't want to be having to push around back to the side that the astral cacos are on um, because you just take way too much damage there so i i'd prefer to just kind of stutter step my way around these barons try and take as little damage as possible and really only just using cells when i need to make a, a push through and, and open up a gap for myself so eventually you'll see cybers will start pushing around the back here um, that is kind of your your clue that you know it's time to to, to get ready to leave um, you will eventually have to push around the astral cacos and you will take a lot of damage it's just you know a fact of life and it's you know it's just how those astral cacos work um, I picked up a, med a, a full megasphere in the middle there and I took, you know, what, nearly 500 damage. Um, it's, yeah, they just have insane DPS. So th that's kind of why I like to mainly stay on the side of the Barons. Um, one of the awkward parts about staying on the side with the Barons is a lot of the Barons in the corridors don't actually properly filter out. Um, I was kind of ducking in there to see how many were left. Um, but because I'm staying up kind of towards the, the top of the room here, um, a lot of them just kind of get stuck in those corridors. So as, as most of the Astral Cacos are dying, um, which they kind of are now, I'll start moving my way down to the back of the room so that the, um, the Barons can be baited down the corridors and start coming out. Um, I can insta-kill all of the Cybers in the very middle uh, whenever I want basically from here so i want to get as much inviting value out from from them as i can before that before i kill them off i don't want to have to finish off all the barons myself there's just really no need for me to um so i kind of just uh yeah try and get as much value out of it as possible and once i can see that the the barons numbers are down low enough to where it's pretty easy for me to finish them off i'll uh, I'll, I'll kill off all the cybers All these uh, guys are finishing their cleanup and while well, we got a bit of downtime. Um, I've been super busy the last couple of months with both work and uh, IRL stuff. Um, combine that with me starting to run out of these nice little short no SV3 style maxes that I can kind of knock over in a couple of days um, means that the upload pace is, has been pretty slow of late. Um, I have two other no SV3 demos that I recorded uh, a few weeks ago now. Um, I'll probably upload those both without commentary as I don't think there's a ton of interesting stuff to say about them directly uh, but they can be interesting to watch um, but yeah on a related note I'm streaming some of my attempts over on Twitch now mainly just for the really long and, and difficult runs that I've started working on um, so if you're interested feel free to, to drop by and you can watch me uh, die live anyway I'll uh, pop a link for that down in the description if you're interested pretty much done with the cybers now so I'll uh, hit the switch and get them all killed off and then it's just some final cleanup on the, the last few floor cybers and uh, the barons that didn't die to infighting. Probably uh, could have killed the cybers in the middle off a little bit earlier. I think I probably wasted maybe 10 or 15 seconds trying to get, you know, eat that last little bit of infighting value out of them when it really wasn't needed, but uh, it doesn't matter too much in the end. And we're done. Alrighty, everyone. Thanks very much for watching. I'll catch you all in the next one. See you later.